In this video, I want to show you how to import images into Easy Vector Editor. Now, when you first open Easy Vector Editor, all of the folders will show kind of what's in there. And this is version one. We are um, going to be making some adjustments, to make it easier for you to tell what's SWF and SVG. When I go ahead and select something that's an SWF, though, if I do that, I'm going to be in sort of SWF mode. And now if I go to open, I'm only going to see SWF files because right now we can only export um, SWF images when they're combined or SVG images when they're combined. In other words, you can only combine SWF power vector images and export them out together or SVG images. You can combine them together and export them out together. Uh, we can't mix and match the SWFs with the SVGs in this current version. So when you're importing, uh, you want to go ahead and click on the import library uh, option. And it'll you can navigate to any folder. I'm already kind of at one here just to make it faster. And you see that I've got inside of here, I've got the PNG and SWF, and they are named the same. That's important. If you want to make your own, if you have, for example, an SVG collection, I'll show you how to uh, do that, but you want to make sure that they match, and I can show you an easy way to do that. But first, let's go ahead, and what you want to do is select on a folder that contains those, and then it's going to import them. It takes a few seconds, and then uh, now if I go in here, you can see that I've got that library, uh, but it automatically opens up initially to that library, and you can scroll, click on the scroll, or click on the arrows here to see all the different options and so I can basically just click on that and you know import it into the file there and so and then do any kind of the edits that I want to do now as I mentioned you can make your own folders uh, with like your own SVGs and they the SVGs do need to match and so here's a collection for, uh, from the awesome folks at Doodle Labs and um, you know they they send them out with the SVGs and obviously we don't want this any file as well what we just want is just the SVGs with matching uh, PNGs. And a, a very cool way, quick way to do that is with grumpicon.com. And what I'm just going to do just a few here. I'm going to select like five. And then if I drag them onto that little target there, it's going to convert them and I can download that. And when I do, I'm going to get this icon right here, this, this grump icon. I'm going to go ahead and just open. I'm done. I think if I can. There we go, and I can get into the PNGs. I'm going to drag those into this folder. And now I have matching PNG uh, uh, thumbnail images that go with my SVGs. Now you want to do that for all of them, not just for just a few. I'm, I'm just, this is just for demonstration purposes. And again, as I mentioned, you want to make sure that there's nothing extra like an any file or zip files or anything when you actually want to do it. And finally, you want to go ahead and give it a name, the folder, that is. You want to give that folder a name that's going to help you be able to find it. Once you do that, you can follow the details that I just showed you and import that library inside of Easy Vector Editor. So, of course, if you get the collections from our products like Whiteboard Power Kit, the folders are going to be set up so that you can import them already. They're going to have the PNG previews and so forth. And if they don't, just let us know and we'll get that taken care of. Actually, I did almost forget to mention that you can import individual files also. So if, if I'm here on my desktop, I think I've got that SVG that we just looked at. And actually, it's not letting me because I'm in PNG mode. So let me get out of that. Let me delete these. I'm sorry, I, I'm not in PNG mode. I'm in SWF mode. So I'm going to get like some SVG files here. Okay, so now if I import, I'm going to go to we do need to be in whatever if you're, if you're working with SVGs you need to import SVGs and if you're working with SWFs you can import SWFs but now I can go ahead and select an SVG and I can import that and do all the different changes to it it's the previews aren't going to be uh, as well balanced as we've done in our previews we've made sure that they're uh, more registered and everything but you can still make the, the edits you can combine the art you can let me, let me get this in here for example and uh, delete this guy here and I can arrow it if I can't drag it sometimes it's some, a little difficult our again our files are created to where we've got some kind of not just it made it a lot easier to select it let's just put it that way but you can move things around by arrowing them and you can do all the other controls as well so if I wanted to rotate this or whatever 
and um, size it, make it bigger and all that good stuff. So you can still do that kind of stuff and you can uh, combine it with our art and you can take other SVG collections and combine it and make new creations as well. So that's how you import either libraries or art inside of Easy Vector Editor.